Okay, the next tool we're going to talk about is the op, sort of look at the opposite of the blur tool. Um, let's zoom in here. Uh, let's maybe try finding a freckle or something. Uh, okay, right there. Something that has a little bit of contrast. Okay, um, let us go over to the where the little blur tool is and draw, go to the drop down and click sharpen tool. Okay, and if you notice, see how I'm when I'm dragging over top of it, it it starts to sharpen it up. But in this case here, since we were uh, on a surface that was so small, it starts to sort of pixelate it. But that's what you can expect to happen when. Um, when you're you're in that close, let's uh, zoom back a bit and let's bring up the brush size. See if we can get a different looking kind of example. And you can see it sharpens things up, but after a while it starts to really pixelate it because if you use it too much, you notice down here it starts turning these weird strange colors. Uh, let's uh, back up a bit. Step backward, step backward, step backward. So say in a case where you were trying trying to intentionally bring out the uh, the wrinkles, okay, or something. Um, let me see, maybe we can try where these, you can see where the, the skin connects to where the hair is. Um, let's zoom in a little bit more. Okay, let's bring this up. Okay. So you can see, hopefully you can see it on your screen, it starts to really accent um, the wrinkles and it brings them out a little bit more. But like I said, if you do it too much, it starts to start to turn things into strange colors. Okay. So that's the that's the thing on that we'll go by the eye again since we're a little closer okay so if there's anything like uh, you can see like sort of little bumps on the surface of the skin it brings that out more okay so certain things it will uh, it will accent okay yeah so you can see it makes her face look a little bit more pimply when we uh, when we add this now, probably if I go across here, see it'll bring out the wrinkles in the lips if I go over with the sharpen tool. So basically, I'm doing what's uh, probably the opposite of uh, when they airbrush a model. You know, if she has like a couple uh, pimples on her chin or whatever, this would not you would not want this to be the tool more than likely to use unless you're doing an ad for um, acne cream or something and you really want to sh make it look bad. So, like I said, you can bring out pores and stuff more. If that's your goal, then, then you can use this tool for that. Okay, so yeah, pretty much just like any other standard tool, you can change the size and brushes, brush tips, so on and so forth. Okay, so that is the sharpen tool. We'll be right back.